Greetings. Thanks for tuning in to Channel Peace if you can find it. If you should get to the end of the video and like, I would be it would be much obliged if you would like, share, and leave a comment. Um, I want to think about or talk about rather I'm nervous. Believe it or not, you should be nervous when you get on here and talk to people. You should be, but I'm nervous. But YT will try to put you into a box um, because they give you your best video and they want you to stick with that one topic. Because it was a year ago I had made a video and it got, I think, five views. And then all of a sudden, I decided to refurbish it. That's what I call it. Throw it back out there. And it's over the charts. 8,000 views. I had to shut it down. Where did that come from? But I learned a lot being into this field. And I know there are a lot of paid people uh, that do things. You know, comment and like. And, and pay viewers, they do that. But anyway, I don't want to be stuck into a box talking about religion or talking about the hospital field or children. It's a lot that bothers me, shit. And now I want to talk about uh, the water because it's the air and the food too. But I want you to hear what this Caucasian is saying. And it's happening to everybody now. The air, water, and food is happening to everyone. And I would like to share, too, that it's a waste of time for Caucasian to continue to make all these derogatory uh, comments and, and pages and videos or whatever against African black people or POC or whatever. That's not Caucasian. They don't like you either. It doesn't matter if you wave two big flags, put three around your house. They don't like you either. They concerned about those who have can afford bungalows, the, the one to five percent, the one that's that's running things. They in a special set, and you're not included. So they after everybody, and I want you to hear <laughs> what one of them is crying about. And it's not funny, but it's one of their own, and he's. Bitching and moaning about the water. Listen. I hope I could do it. How about that in your seaweed salad? Mm -hmm. it's, we're going to turn into a vegetation. Oh, it's a veg, vegetarian site. Woo! Shit, that yeah. smells. That's uh, the contaminated creek water flooded there. Looks like their basement. Yeah, it was full of that white slimy stuff. Hey, we're here. That's enough. But th this is in the Appalachia, up up where the they don't even care about these people. They can't speak clear English like me. Can't speak clean, clear English. But these are English American people. But they don't care about them either. So it's time to stop worrying about being angry with black folks. They don't like you either. And that's all I'm going to say to that. They don't care. They just don't care. They don't like you either. They don't. The air, the water, and food is coming after everybody. I don't know how it's not affecting them. And I've noticed that they they were, they were had a um, documentary about the ages of leaders all over the world and how long they've been in their position and their ages, 80 and 90 years old, and they representing young people and they won't leave these positions. But how do they get to, to keep living like that? Well, I know what some people are going to say, you know, it's a lot of diabolical things going on. But why do you want to be in power that long? What about going home? And just relax and enjoy your children. Remember the Godfather? He called it quits. And he was out there in the grape fields playing with his grandson. But he had retired. <laughs> he had retired. And he passed it on 
to Sonny, who was a uh, no-go, and then Michael had to take over. But the Godfather gave it a rest. What is wrong with them not giving a rest? You got enough money. And they come out the woodwork again, giving their opinion about shit they shouldn't even be worried about. Now, don't you have great, 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 great grandchildren that you can go home and play with? You know, just give it a rest. Nobody is talking about uh, putting on the ballot that the terms be so many years and that your age have to fit with the median age group. But I'm also learning, too, that there won't be any children being born. No one wants to bring children here. I wonder why. I can understand it. I, I feel when people say they haven't, they're going to have a baby or a baby shower or something like that. It's scary for them. I, you're supposed to rejoice, right, when they're born and, and cry when they leave here. What do they have to look forward to? The way things are going on now. And I have to think about what has gone on over there in GAZA when it started in October. June will be nine months. Surely, when it's just like that, when it's just horror all around you, where do making love and having babies coming from? There come a time where that's just not on your mind. Bringing them into what? Bringing them into what? Total, utter despair. You don't have a place to stay. You don't have any food. So that's times your baby. It doesn't add up, do it? We didn't think long time ago you got to have something. We didn't even know to invest uh, $100 into these big social en engines they got knowing now. 20 years ago, what it would have done for our children and grandchildren today. We didn't know to invest, did we? No, we just had children and end up taking them to the nursery six o'clock in the morning and picking up at six o'clock at night. Why? And then they grow up to be worker bees, working for the rest of their life, tired and depressed, chasing dollars and just never having enough in this society. But I'm going to end. Thanks for tuning in and listening. Like, share, leave a comment, subscribe. If you think differently, let me know. Drop me a line.